What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Oshomole, afraid of being dismissed, accept the solution of APC's NWC, pledges loyalty to Buhari. All right, guys, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. The suspended national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, Adam Zoshemole, has reacted to the dissolution of the party's National Working Committee. Briefing journalists on Saturday in Abuja, the ex-chairman said he has formally accepted the dissolution of the party's National Working Committee under his leadership. Oshomole, however, pledged his loyalty to the ruling party, saying that his loyalty to the president, Muhammadu Buhari, remains unshaken. According to him, the real test of his loyalty is not when things are going smoothly, but when things suddenly become rough. Of course, we have now been dissolved and I have accepted that dissolution in good faith. I have always assured the president of my loyalty. I know it's easy for people to speak of loyalty when the going is good, but loyalty is brought to the test when the going gets really tough, he said. He also expressed the, his joy that the APC under his leadership was able to work hard to ensure that unity returned to the Ninth Assembly. Oshomole added that the emergence of Senate President Ahmad Lawan and the Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Badjabiamila has helped the executive arm of government to succeed. His remark followed the dissolution by the APC National Executive Committee NEC. The party's council took the decision at a virtual meeting based on the recommendation of President Buhari. Meanwhile, your best state governor, Mai Malabuni, has been appointed as the chairman of the caretaker committee of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Governor Buni was sworn in by the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Awobaka Malami. Similarly, Senator John Akban Udoidege was appointed as secretary of the caretaker committee. Wow, all right, guys. Um, Oshomole has eventually bowed out of politics. In fact, his political career has eventually come to an end after he accepted the dissolution of the National Working Committee by NEC. You know that NEC is the highest organ of uh, APC. You get me? It's the highest organ of APC, but uh, there have been some um controversy surrounding the dissolution of apc neck you get me some people have the opinion that neck even though it's the highest organ of the party does not have the power to set up caretaker committee you get me and to also dissolve the national working committee that it's the duty of the national working committee to actually you know uh set up caretaker committee you get that was his enshrined in the constitution meanwhile some I also have the opinion that no, that NEC, being the highest organ of the party, you get me, has the power to settle crisis, and whichever means is employed to settle that crisis, that NEC, you understand, tell me, is allowed to do it. And in this case, those proponents of NEC said that since there was crisis in the National Working Committee for national president emerging, you get me, NWC uh, appointed a Jim Obi, who, who was critically ill as at the time he was appointed, and then also to uh, later on change course and appointed Hilliard Eta from the South South, and then Shuaibu, you know, Sami Lawa Shuaibu from the North also claim uh, the throne. You get so that was uh, meanwhile the Court of Appeal. Uh, you know, actually upheld Victor Giadom as the acting national chairman. So you see, there was crisis. So some people have the opinion that the neck, you get me, has the power to come in and actually dissolve or create or solve the problem. But some people have the opinion that the governor 
Governor Booney of Yobe State that was actually appointed to head, you know, um, the caretaker committee. He's still a governor. He's supposed to resign. That an elected, uh, according to the constitution, somebody who is elected cannot be allowed to run as the party chairman. When you are still a governor, that it is the amount to, um, uh, to, to not following the rule of law. You get so that is what people are actually are saying and so there is a mounting pressure right now for governor Booney to step down for him to resign for his deputy you get me so that is what is um is actually happening now you get me so um uh, what has eventually accepted though when as at the time he accepted it he was under serious duress you get me what i mean duress he was under compulsion you get people actually compelled him to do that or he also saw that he was under a very serious threat there was a threat of him being dismissed from the party you know they were having litigation against apc in fact they wanted going um they wanted to sue apc for the dissolution of the national working committee but i think they were advised they were advised or they saw it themselves they used their teeth and count their tongue and eventually had to backtrack they backtrack immediately and today being saturday oshomole have accepted is you know the dissolution of the national working committee under him and also to he also pledged loyalty to president buari according to him he said that loyalty is tested in the times of rough times not when the goings are good and uh, so he has decided to pledge his loyalty but their loyalty is not coming you understand me? it's coming as the result of threats they were mounting threats for him to be dismissed and people under him his close associates have already accepted you know the apc dissolution his spokesperson the apc spokesperson have all accepted the dissolution of the party and people began blaming him from all left and right center people were blaming him you know when you fail everybody will pinpoint what actually led to your failure everybody to be so glaring and to be so seen that's why it's not good uh to fail you get so sorry failure is part of success let me put it that way failure is part of success failure is needed for you to succeed but when you fail and resign to fate when once you fail and you totally resign yourself to fate then people will actually condemn you and make a biography out of you you get they'll make out a biography out of you and tell your story how you fell so that is what has just happened to shimole people are saying that he allowed his own personal grudge with obaseki you get to blind him and lead him to destruction you get even that was what oyego said oyego said that other people said it daily mamadu you get all of them they all condemn Oshomole's action because he has failed now if Oshomole had succeeded in this uh, or he succeeded in defeating obaseki you get you know people were singing his praise as at the time he disqualified obaseki they began singing his praise a uh, person like uh, fanika yode you understand me said this is the lesson to obaseki you get they so they thought that uh, Obas uh Shomole had actually won the game you get me but not quite long immediately after the the disqualification of obaseki and subsequent resignation by obaseki from apc the court of appeal suspended oshomole and so the game became more interesting interested ones again you get that actually led to what we are seeing today you get me so that is it so oshomole right now it was out of fear you get me of being dismissed from the party that he actually uh backtracked from taking apc to court and then um uh accepting the dissolution of the party and, I, and why he had to do that is to give himself a soft landing because a more greater evil is coming when efcc will actually go after him maybe he has been threatened to submission to drop his litigation against apc because of the pending efcc case against him there's already a case against him already two efcc case so probably they were going to use it against him so he was able to get his other people to backtrack to stop their litigation against apc and accept the dissolution of the party you get me so that is what has just um happened now but what do you think now right now obaseki is um is actually winning has won the war from the from uh 
uh, from my own perspective, I don't know from your own perspective, from the look of Tim Obaseki, um has retired Oshimole from politics. That's the way I put it. I don't know if you agree with me on that. Obaseki eventually succeeded in retiring Oshimole from politics. And this is what um, Akin Wumi and Bode would have done. I, well, this is what exactly Ambode would have done. Ambode never fought, and because he did not fight, Abuja could not fight for him. Abuja couldn't fight for him. So, but you see, in this other case, now look at what happened. Obaseki fought with Shemole. He appealed. Shemole won the first time when the um, the court of appeal actually stayed the execution that actually suspended Shemole. He got a reprieve and continued in office until when he was eventually suspended just a few days ago by the same court of appeal that gave him a soft landing by march today the story has changed and obaseki now we are watching to see is he going to win is he going to win the governorship election slated for september to me i find it difficult he's going to win because of the abuja's might except he's going to learn the trade and the secret from governor wiki but i don't see him actually winning especially when apc neck ratified and endorsed Ize Iyamu as a candidate of APC in a do state. So I don't think oh this person is going to win because Obaseki is still fighting on. I mean Obshomole is still fighting. Obaseki raised an alarm that was last week that thugs have started infiltrating into have infiltrated into have started coming into um a do state they started coming and you know that these days government use a, a, a dogs to win you know people have condemned them using police and all of that so now what this what they do is that these police change their uniform and wear and become dogs you get the army people we drop their uniform become dogs and use they use that method now so that you wouldn't say it's the military and all of that you wouldn't say it's the police you will you you understand me so that is it so uh what do you think i want you to drop your comment below let me know what you think this is emma tv god bless you for watching